All right, let's assemble a three-piece knockdown door. These are one-hour fire-rated doors, and I'm going to show you how to build the frames before you install them right now. Alright guys, so these are the three-piece knockdown doors. These are one hour fire rated um, using a three and five eighths wall with five eighths on either side. So here I'm going to show you how to build these frames. They're, it's not that hard guys, it really isn't. Don't be afraid. If you're watching this video, you're probably doing pre-research. You're probably not stuck on site right now because uh, it's probably pre-research to show just to see how easy it really is because it's not that hard. Um, all you got to do is know the right size. So for three and five eighths, uh, with five eighths, one hour wall. Okay, so it's a one hour wall with five eighths on either side. Type X. You're gonna wanna set it to four and seven eighths, the the opening size. Now the flanges are three eighths on both sides, so you have to make your custom clips there that I, which is in another video that you can see in this series as well. Um, you, uh, but you wanna have the opening there at four and seven eighths. I'm just setting the header width here, but the uh, the other the door jams like the other sides are already done. I've I've installed the clips. They're already done. Um, so make sure, yeah, you're subscribed to the channel and um, you don't want to miss the videos coming out. I'm going to show you how to drywall these these doors and how to uh, tape them, everything. So uh, every I teach you everything from layout to taping in this whole series. So if you really want to become a pro at doors <laughs> then or it's steel stud framing in general, then yeah, this is the video series for you guys. I'm telling you, you're not a journeyman or a journey person until you've built one of these frames, done custom clips, and installed it properly, right? So, <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. That's the right way. You can see there's little tabs. And you're basically just putting the tabs through the holes, okay? they're pretty. It's pretty straightforward that way. But there's a couple of little tricks I'm going to teach you here along the way. All right, just get them in there. Get all of them in there. Make sure you're good. Uh, make sure the angle is tight in there, okay? And your inside jam is matching up. Watch my hammer. See how I am hammering down, pushing it in and down and making it wrap in tight, okay? That's important, that hammer movement, okay? So you do the two top pieces before you do anything else. Do the two tops. I'm getting the other side fit in here. And you want the inside to match perfectly. The outsides don't always match on these ones, but the inside will match perfectly. And you'll see what I mean when you're installing your own door. But, um, yeah, just see hammer down like that so it wraps in to the steel and it's tight, okay? Um, and, yeah, make any adjustments you need to do. Then you flip it, right? So hammer the to two top tabs down, flip it, do the other two top tabs. It's pretty pretty straightforward, guys. It's pretty straightforward stuff. I'm going to show you two door frames here in this video. Uh, stay till the end of the video, and I'm going to show you uh, how, or I'm going to tell you how you can learn to make these custom clips and install the frames. I'll also be telling you how you can learn to drywall and finish these uh, doors as well. Okay, lay them out, frame them. Uh, if you if you need uh, to know about door headers and things like that, it's all in this door series. So you're not, you don't want to miss out if you're a framer on this series, eh? Um, watch all six videos. I'm going to add the... There was only five, but I'm adding a sixth video to the series about um, hanging the slab and installing the door hardware. So tomorrow I'm going to go back out to this job and install the actual slabs and hardware. So uh, that'll be awesome, guys. This series is fully complete. Uh, you'll be a complete pro at doors uh, by watching all, all of these videos. So uh, trust me on that. And then, yeah, you see, so I I go and I uh, I hammer down all the, the top clips before I go and do the middle clips uh, in the header there, right? So uh, I try to bang them opposite directions as well. Okay, so I'll put bang one forward and one backwards. And I'll show you in the next, the next door... Uh, next door flame frame, there's nicer close ups. So, this one here, yeah, there's nice. I got nicer close ups on this one. This one really shows you um, how I installed it, right? I got some really nice close ups here. So, pay attention. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave the questions down in the comments, guys. Everybody, you know, I get back to absolutely every single comment 
Every single comment that has been left on this channel, I, I've i replied to, or at least given a heart to, right? But if it's ever a question, 100%, I've always replied to every question asked on this channel, so... It could be a little tricky sometimes, but yeah, just get those tabs in, All right? Get that, uh, get that, that casing lined up properly. You want the inside corner to line up. Don't worry about the top outside corner so much. Make sure the inside one works, okay? Yeah, you see how you hammer that down, make it nice and tight. All right, get the other side in. Right, get that side in, and the, this is the thing with these one doors; they don't have spacers in the bottom, right? So they're they're not square, uh, uh, they're not squared out at the bottom. They don't have spacers, um, not like the pre welded ones, or the ones that come already assembled, right? They have the spacers, so you gotta square them over in the install, which I show you in my install video. But yeah, get those just those two top ones and uh, hammer down and flip the frame before you do the other side. And, uh, yeah, hammer them down. You'll see here in a sec. Yeah, see those custom clips there? Uh, make sure to watch the custom clip video. It's a good one. Um, but, yeah, there's a custom clip video and the install video, right? But, yeah, I always get all four uh, out, like, casing. I call them the casing pins uh, or tabs, sorry. The all four casing tabs hammered down properly and secure, right? Nice and tight there. And then I do the jam tabs i call them jam tabs and yeah generally i'll go one one way and one the other so they're not they're not both the same way right and that way i've never had any issues of you know when i'm installing or putting the frame into the steel stud wall they they don't those ones never pop out the top ones will they always almost always do but these ones never pop out uh, if you go either direction so yeah that's a smart just smart practice Boom, shakalaka. Look how beautiful that is, eh? It's super easy, guys. Nothing to be intimidated about. You're probably watching this video just doing some research or you're just curious maybe and how it's done. But, um, yeah, you know, like, I, watch out for uh, the drywall series on door drywall because, dr like, building these frames and installing them in the steel stud walls is really only half the battle. And then and then you have to, to secure the door and check it for level with the drywall, okay? So the steel stud and the actual install of the door is only really kind of uh, two-thirds of the battle, and then you got the last third, which is the drywall. So you don't want to be subscribed to the channel. You don't want to miss out because I'm going to be teaching you how to drywall everything and how to do these corners and do all the layout. Um, the, the video here on the right will teach you how to do the custom clips, and the video on the left here will teach you how to install the frame. This is Chris, guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.